So one of my favorite things to do when I mow the lawn is put stripe patterns in the lawn when I mow. And to do that, you need some kind of rolling mechanism or a weight or something that drags behind the mower to lay the grass down and do that. Well, for those of you that have been following along, you know that when it comes to my front yard, I've switched away from using a golf course reel mower in the front yard, which had a ton of weight already as part of it. And it had these big rollers on the back, which put down some really defined stripes. Well, I switched to a more traditional lawnmower. I've got two Toro electric lawnmowers that I've been playing around with here, and they don't come with stripe kits. They don't really stripe out of the box. This one does, but this one, not so much. It's pretty light, and so it needs something. So I've actually got something for both of them. Let me show you. We'll see how they do. Here we go. All right, one for you, one for you, right here. finally assembled here and the reason I say finally is just because um, I have wet sand well not necessarily wet but damp sand chunky sand uh, that I was working with I had to let it dry out a little bit couldn't really use a funnel I just wanted to get it done as quick as I could so I just kept fighting it and it was really tedious to get sand in there uh, in both of them so the good thing though is that it's the only time I ever have to do that. I never have to take the sand out or put sand back in. It's done. So here they are. I've got the uh, Toro 60 volt super recycler with the lawn striping roller on it and the 60 volt max e-time master with its 30 inch roller on it. And I will say that this one, the time master one, for you time master owners out there, you want to get one of these Toro systems, so easy to install. I like that one a lot better than I like this one. This one's nice and uh, simple enough to install, but that one was way easier, way better design on that one. I think that Toro should reconsider copying the design for the brackets and everything for the Time Master on the smaller mowers as well. So here they are. Now the fun part, let's get mowing. We're gonna mow the front yard with this guy, backyard with this guy and have some fun, see what kind of stripe patterns we get. So there you go, that's gonna go ahead and do it. We've got really nice results. I wish I had full sunlight on this so you could really see, but we've got a storm system coming through right back here, just completely blocking the sun. So unfortunate, but I can tell you, gets my thumbs up of approval. So Toro striping system, you can use these on the electric mowers. They work really, really well. Quick pro tip though, I would wait to attach the roller to the to hook onto the mower until after you've done your trim passes. If you've got any fences that you're up against, you do any backing up, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to get that done out of the way, then connect the roller and go to town on your pattern. So keep that in mind. Um, expect a tiny bit extra draw on the battery, not too big of a deal, nothing to really complain about, at least from my perspective. Um, you are pulling a little extra weight that's going to put a little extra draw on the battery and it's going to use a little bit extra battery life. So keep that in mind. Um, just know you can do it. <laughs>
If you're into bagging, no worries there as well. I know some people are probably wondering, can I still attach the bag? Yes, you still can attach the bag on both the smaller mowers, the Super Recycler and Recyclers, and the E-Time Master. Still doable, all well, all good. So that'll go ahead and do it for this one. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me down in the comments section. I'll leave a link down there in the description if you're interested in picking up one of these for your own uh, Toro lawnmower. So there you go, that'll go ahead and do it. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up down in the comments section. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.